Hi all, just wanted to give you an overview of the Treon system from Ionic Systems. Portable reverse osmosis, carbon RODI. So 15 inch carbon, 15 inch DI and a 40-40 RO. So very, very robust stainless steel frame and I'd just like to run you through the setup and some of the uh, fittings and procedure of using the Treon system. So on the front of the Treon, a bit different to the Quattro, we have our untreated water in, we have our reject water out, which is coming from around our 4040 RO membrane, and we have our pure water connection, which is our working water. We have a pressure gauge, we have our RO bypass valve, we have our power switch, we have a hour meter which works and indicates when the electric motor is running and we have our power connection. Because it goes all around the world, it's an adapter lead for a 240 volt power receptacle. So the Trion itself is powered like other ionic systems, 0.38 kilowatt motor, uh, requires 1.2 kVA to start. Uh, I, I'll tell people that that 2 kVA generator or a 10 amp PowerPoint will run it quite easily. So on the front of the Treon we have our untreated water in. So if you're in soft water that will come directly from a garden tap. If we're in hard water, prior to the Treon we'll have a softening vessel. So that can be a ionic caddy softener or a softening resin vessel. So that will be plugged in line to the Treon. Its main purpose will be to remove calcium and lime which will foul the RO over time and um, reduce its performance. So the caddy, whether caddy softener or caddy softening resin vessel will require ongoing maintenance and that's a back flush of that resin vessel or caddy every eight to 10 hours with salty brine water which will rejuvenate that resin. So we connect our water supply, whether it's through a softening vessel or direct from a garden tap we turn on our water supply and we'll get water from our reject and also a minimal amount of water from our pure water outlet. So at that point in time when we have a garden connection applied with water flowing, we will get an increase in pressure indicated on our pressure gauge. If we turn the bypass valve at a 90 degree position and push water through our RO filter, Without power on the system, we'll be able to read approximately our garden tap pressure. So that's handy to know as you travel around from building to building, house to house, what your pressure is in that suburb, because the Treon will boost above that garden tap pressure. So in a normal setup, we have our garden tap on, we have water flowing from our ports. What I tell people to do is put the bypass valve in the inline position which will give you maximum reject water. Once we have water flowing we have our lead connected to a 10 amp power point or a generator we're able to turn our tree on on. What that will do will give us a massive increase in reject water we'll get an increase in pure water. A few seconds after that happens we can then turn our bypass valve to the 90 degree position We'll get an increase in pressure as our Treon comes up to maximum operating pressure. What this is doing with the bypass valve in this position is it's forcing maximum water through the RO filter. As soon as we go to the 90 degree position, we'll get a reduction in wastewater and a large increase in pure water. At the end of the shift, at the end of the job, at the end of the day, uh, we'll talk about RO flush. So an RO flush is moving the bypass valve back in line, which will get an increase in reject water and a decrease in pure water. And what that's doing as a maintenance procedure is allowing maximum water around the RO. So any particulates that have get, got caught in that RO filter are rejected to waste to drain. So during normal operation, the waste water will be directed over somebody's lawn or a garden bed or down a drain. So carbon filters will do approximately the 15 inch, 150,000 litres. DI resin filters will be on condition and determined by a portable TDS meter as well as a RO filter. 
So quite a robust design. Um, the unit can be run standing up or laying down. If it is run laying down, the motor is splash proof, but it's advised to put hoses on your reject water port to keep water away from your electrical components. Um, any more information about the Trium um, and any other questions that you may have, you can get us at the web, ionicsystems.com.au or on the phone, 1300 8845 66. Cheers.